How is it going YouTube? Malgans here, we are going to be talking about where to farm and this time we are going to be talking about the Nemesis stuff. So one thing that I'll mention before jumping into this is um, I have other videos where to farm. What I uh, want you to know is that like every single one of these videos are basically combined and for you to combine in your game so that like you have various different things that you would like to uh, hit and farm if you would like to before resetting your session. So uh, definitely to check out like where to farm, easy spots, where to farm, treasure troves, uh, where to farm, for cutting cards, and there will most likely be more coming for these series as well on my channel. Definitely check them out. And as you watch them and as you learn the spots, for instance, you could definitely like combine them and um, combine the ones that you would like to at least and have some sort of like a preferable run for yourself before resetting your game. That would definitely increase the value of loot that you're going to find along the way. So that said, what, what is Nemesis in this game? Like, simply put, as you know, there are friendly factions. When you press J in the game, uh, you can see them. Uh, there's also enemy factions. And just like you're progressing uh, a faction reputation with the friendlies, you're progressing with the enemies as well. Once you reach the furthest progression, which is the, the Nemesis, it is called, uh, they spawn their boss, basically. So the beasts are summoning Kuba, uh, the Chthonians are summoning Gravathol and Benyar, and you can continue this list. Um, we are talking about like, we will be talking about like how to find them. That is very important, uh, in my opinion. And we will be talking about like, why would you want to farm Nemesis? Uh, what do they give? They give like rare materials. Not every single character is very good at like killing every single Nemesis. Definitely shouldn't be either. Like if your character is having a very hard time against like beast Nemesis, it doesn't necessarily mean that like you're going to have a very hard time against let's say Crony Nemesis. So you should definitely like check them out. Whichever one is like easier for you to kill. You should definitely focus on that guy alone or maybe those guys alone and skip the other one that is completely okay uh on top of everything their trolls the the chests that they have um they're capable of like rolling recipes for sure if you're missing recipes in your account and on top of that like they usually give you a legendary about like 60 percent of the time some of the nemesis if i'm not mistaken the treasure trove of them are a little bit valuable that more valuable i should say than the others simply because it's harder to grind to them and it's also harder to find them Sim like like the kaizen the new nemesis from from the elder charters or the barrel hole nemesis pretty sure those are like extremely valuable same can be said for kuba as well i think and this list in fact continues maybe even alexander is very valuable too um so since i'm not necessarily 100 percent on this one like which ones are the more valuable ones when it comes to like the chest opening I'm not going to continue that uh, conversation so much, but you probably understood like what I'm saying. On top of this, let's delve into like how to find them a little bit. It's actually pretty simple. Um, come over here. So let's just re refresh this one. So we go to Grim Tools, GrimTools.com. Uh, we go to Monster Database this time instead of the Build Calculator. From the right to the top, we select the Nemesis. So this is basically going to be listing you every single nemesis that's available in the game. Let's say that like we, we are trying to find the Aether Corruption uh, nemesis Valdran, the strongest <laughs> the strongest nemesis in the game. No, I, I'm just kidding. This is one of the easier ones. Uh, and let's say that like we're trying to find this guy. We go to the spawn locations after clicking him and then we click show on the map. So this is as simple as it is. On the left side you can see like the list where it spawns. And one thing that I'm going to add right after mentioning this is that uh, a nemesis is always in your game. The only thing that you need to do is reach the required reputation. In fact, the second that you reach the required re reputation, uh, it instantly spawns in your game. You don't even need to reset your game anymore. Um, until it is killed, it will be in one of the, one of the spawn locations, 100%. Uh, so another thing that I can mention about this is that like let's just let's just assume that like you don't necessarily know where this is. Let's say that like Warden's Cellar. You you're not necessarily sure where this is. It's extremely simple to find this as well. Right over here on the top it says like Warden's Cellar. You just go one back. Barwich Estates. As you can see, like the entrance to the uh to the you know Warden's Cellar needs to be here, so you just check these right over there, the Warden's Cellar. 
So this rule could be applied to like literally everything. So if you didn't necessarily know, let's say like the underground transit, the underground transits, you go one back. So it is, you know, accessible from the board and seller. And if you don't know where this is, you go one more back. Uh, this rule will apply to like legitimately every single map out there and every single nemesis out there as well. Right at the beginning of the video, I have mentioned that like you should be combining this with like other routes as well as I said, like so that like your 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 entire session is a lot more valuable. But that said, if you are specifically targeting a nemesis for like let's say they're they're um, especially the MI, some of them have an extremely uh, specific MI. Let's say for a character that could be made, let's say it's giving like pluses to the character. It's also rolling like the damage type every single time. So it all comes down to like just a little bit of resistance, maybe a little bit of HP that's going to be rolling by RNG. In that case, you should probably just be resetting your game every time after killing it. One more say, one more thing to say: some of the nemeses are definitely harder than the others, hundred um, percent. What you could do around this is that like don't, you know, don't hesitate to like respect for these type of targets. If you you know, some, some targets are dealing a lot more, let's say, vitality damage. There are rings out there that are capable of giving you very heavy vitality resistance and also increases the hard cap that you have with your vitality as well. Let's say some of the nemesis are like hitting um, a lot more fire damage. The same thing can be said for the fire as well. Try to increase the, you know, hard cap of your fire resistance. Try to go over the top, maybe use like a fire ointment while going against them. Uh, maybe even considering taking some defensive devotions just to kill that target and these type of things like you shouldn't definitely not hesitate doing if you're having just a little bit of harder time especially in hardcore if you're in softcore if you don't necessarily mind dying every now and then doesn't necessarily matter at the end of the day really hope the video was useful i'll catch you next time youtube thanks for watching